most asked questions I get is um, how I do the taping on my wheels for my bead locks. They're not actually bead locks. They're not holding the bead in place. They're not doing anything like that. Basically, the only reason they're bead locks is they help the bead to stay in place more on non-bead lock style wheels. The, the way they do this is you take just regular Gorilla Tape. I did see they have some like all weather Gorilla Tape, it's supposed to stand up to moisture and cold, that kind of stuff. Almost bought it, only reason I didn't is that it was more money and it was a smaller roll. This has worked well for me. I air down, I'm on 37 inch 1250 tires. This is a 17 by nine inch wide wheel. I air down a lot of times to like one, one and a half, two pounds of air. And I never really seem to have issues. So the way I've done it before, cause as you can see, you have this little safety bead and it's got a little edge on it. And then on the inside of the wheel, you just have this little roller bead. So the way I typically do it, which you can kind of see, you know, shiny, not shiny, tire touches, you know, not shiny again. So what I normally do is I will take the tape and I just try to split that hump basically. And I do three or four wraps. I usually do about four wraps, just going along. Once I get my four wraps down, I go through, lay the tape all out, and then on the outside of the wheel, I kind of just take, you can kind of feel with your finger right there where the, the edge of the wheel is, or the edge of that bead, and I just do four wraps, and I make it taller. So doing all that, it helps the tire stay on, doing side hilling, doing whatever, I've had the tire completely folded under and the tire stays on. But the thing it doesn't help with is low air pressure, doing like slow speed, you know, like I call it triple low, but triple low stuff in the snow. It's not really like rocks where the tires just constantly spin. The, uh, the tire's always fighting for traction. So it almost kind of like churns and it like, ratchets almost in a way so when it's doing that the the tires getting more traction on the snow than the wheel is so i even when the tires balanced or the wheel tires balanced i go home and it shake because it just comes unbalanced i've tried balance beads for whatever reason i tried more i tried less balance beads those just didn't work for me i tried airsoft bbs on my old foreigner those were great for the first few weeks and then whatever happened i don't know that went downhill that quit working so i think my next idea i'm going to wrap the wheels like i normally do and then i will do probably another two wraps i will take the edge of the tape right to the edge of the wheel and I'll do two wraps. One, it helps here to hold this tape in place more. It'll keep it from pushing off because there really isn't much surface here for the tape to hold because you can see it goes here and then it drops off. So one, it'll help hold the tape in place there. I'll do that inside and outside. And then I think when I get the tires mounted, I will use bead sealer and I will put it on the inside and outside beads, hopefully trying to get the the tire to be glued in place, I guess you can say in a way. So that is the way I do it. I will take some pictures and uh, we'll have a finished product. I will do a wheel here. I think it usually takes me like 10, 15 minutes or so to do it. So wish me luck, let's see how this goes. beads taped after doing it I realized I misspoke I mean it'll work but I'm kind of thinking and wishing now right right here on this roller bead 
right here where it starts to go flat i'm thinking i should have had the tape it's whatever at this point this is still a pretty tall lip that it's gonna have to push over so i'm still gonna run it i mean whatever i really don't care at this point i'm also i mean you maybe should put a little more effort into the i don't know cleaning of it this residue is here because and check it out. I don't actually know why it's here. Awesome. I was going to say it's because I put a bead of tape here, but I don't think so. Anyways, now I will do two beads up to this edge, basically to hold this edge in place, hold this edge in place, and then also make it a little bit thicker, so I should give the tire bead a little bit more traction. Just hopefully it doesn't spin. So. tape on i mean this one's pretty much done the only thing left to do wherever it is so i run colby valves um i love these things but uh really doesn't matter either way you're going to have the back of your valve sticking out right here so really what i do is i'll take a knife and then i just cut a square around it once it's cut out, you know, just stick the tape back down. I mean, theoretically, that would make this the weakest spot for the tape to stick. There's the least amount of tape there. But that's whatever. That's a risk I have to take. That's it's part of the game, really. So uh, that's all I have left to do on this one. Um, I really hope this helps someone. Uh, I mean, I, I found it online. Pretty sure I found it on like Pirate 4x4 like years ago. Um, I've been using it since then. I've been pretty happy with with the results of it. I really don't lose a bead that much. Knock on wood. Hardwood floors. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty cheap. It's a lot cheaper than buying beadlock wheels. Again, like I said, I mean, I really should have beadlock wheels. Beadlock wheels would be nice. Beadlock wheels would actually hold the tire in place. It would do what beadlocks do. So this isn't replacing bead locks this is just a cheap and easy way to get your bead to maybe stay on more i mean i don't know if i'm doing this right i don't know if i'm doing this wrong i'm doing it the way i kind of understood it the way i seen it and the way that seems to work for me uh, if you guys have any comments if you have anything hit me up let me know i mean i'm totally willing to try something new maybe this is the wrong way maybe i've been doing it wrong if it works for you, let me know. That's awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you guys.